up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to this week's marquee matchups. Now, uh, as always, you've got like three days to complete it and there are four challenges to complete as always. Uh, and we're going to get a prime gold players pack for this one, which is not too bad. It's one of the better packs on the game, of course. And the other packs we're going to get just as a starter, we can see premium gold pack, which is a 7.5k maybe. Uh, and then a players pack. Was that an Electrum one? I think it was. Yes, it was. We're also going to get a jumbo premium gold pack uh, and then a premium gold players pack. So a 25k one there. So I actually think these rewards aren't too shabby at all. I've just realized in the top left corner that I've hit 800 wins on foot this year. Not too bad, but way too many losses there for my liking. Now, moving on into the actual first challenge then. NYCFC New York City versus Sounders FC. Now, you're going to need two players from... Either NYC or Sounders. You can use literally whatever. I've I've gone for two New York players. My right back was one of them. And my center mid was also one of them. You do need 11 players from the MLS though. And they can get quite costly I guess. So hopefully you've already got some in your club. Uh, you need a 65 overall rating. Which isn't just bronze players. You're probably going to need a couple silvers in there as well. Um, but overall like 90 chemistry you guys can skimp on that try and get the cheapest players that are possibly out there on the market uh, and for this one we're going to get a premium gold pack which is as we said earlier a seven and a half k just like a regular gold pack uh, with three rares i guess pohang versus ulsan i believe is in the k league right uh so pohang steelers versus ulsan hyundai uh we had we need two players from either of those clubs and I'm not going to lie. Which ones did I choose? I'm pretty sure it's my CDM here because he's a different nation. Uh, and then my striker here are from the two teams. If I'm incorrect on that, I do apologize. I literally, I don't claim to know the badges from those from, the, from this league. Uh, it's not something that I'm particularly bothered about. Uh, so what you need here is a minimum of two nationalities. Now, there seems to be quite a few Brazilians in the K-League. So... Uh, I've probably got some if I check my club quickly. Let's go K-League. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Did I go past it already? No, there we go. Uh, Brazilian. There, there's quite a few Brazilians. I've got like four extras in my club right here, which I'll probably sell on after this because I'm sure their price will go up. Uh, but yeah, don't forget you do need someone from a different nation as well. You can't just use 11 Korean players. You need a minimum of five silvers in here as well, which is what I just sort of finished the squad off with. Uh, and... You need 90 chemistry again, so nothing too difficult. Literally just try and use your lowest rated players for the rest of the squad. Uh, and then non-rare silvers over rare silvers, or literally whatever's cheapest on the market. Uh, sometimes golds are even cheaper than these guys, because these guys are obviously rarer. Uh, so, you know, gold players, if there are any in that league, may be a good shout. Literally just don't set a filter on, on what sort of type of player you're going for. Uh, and, and just get the cheapest stuff on the market, whether it be bronze, silver, or gold. So, an Electrum players pack for this one is not too bad. That'll be half gold and half silver, right, is, is what an Electrum one is. Uh, then Portugal versus Mexico, an international tie here today. Uh, we've got Portugal players one, Mexico players one, uh, and a minimum of three different leagues. You need five rare players in that one as well, uh, as an actual overall rating of 76 is necessary. But you do only need 85 so you could totally get away with, for example, like I've got a Portuguese guy who plays in the French League on, and I've just linked him roughly off to different players, not thinking about chemistry, like he's probably on 7 chem, right, yeah, so he's on 7 chem, um, so I've done that and it's just fine, and obviously I've still got 100 chem, but you could quite easily go for, let's just see if we can quickly do this, let's go for a French League on player, I better stick this guy on the bench rather than losing him forever. Uh, and I'm also going to stick you on the bench, player. Uh, so let's go for a, someone in the French League gun, uh, just to show you that you can do this. So, I don't know, literally like Ferry or someone, that'll do just fine. So you're getting strong links off to there. Have we got like a rare one I can use that's French? No, I'm not going to use player. Okay, so that guy's not going to be on full cam either. But I wonder if we can just put a random... 
Uh, Portuguese striker. Have we got one that's that's rare? That's the that's the issue. So could we do this? Yeah, we could definitely do that. Um, so I needed an extra rare in this because player was rare. Uh, but if you don't want to use like a, a Portuguese player that's of a different league so that you can easily get chemistry, like you could just do it in like what I've done here, which is two rows. Uh, I've got uh, players from the second Spanish league, the first Spanish league, and the French league on as well. And you could literally, uh, but you need the Portuguese player. So I've gone with that. You, you might not want to, but it's the overall rating that I care about. Uh, and I'm going to go with what I've got on screen right now and sell this player because I guess a lot of people might be uh, looking to, to do something like that uh, with their squad or buy a player that just helps them get chemistry if they don't already have loyalty. So moving on to the final one then, Cameroon versus Chile. We have one Cameroon player needed, one Chile player needed, uh, and a maximum of six players from the same nation. So that's the only thing that is sort of like a, a major issue, I guess you could say. What I did for this one was uh, quickly search which Cameroonian players and which Chilean players that I had. And as you can see, I stuck them all on the bench. Realized that I could use a Cameroon goalkeeper from the La Liga and then just use... Literally a Spanish back four of players that are relatively low rated but gold uh, and non-rare. And then I had a Chilean striker from the Serie A. And because there was only five spots left in the team, I could literally just use Italian. So make sure we got enough chem. You don't even need to worry about that really because you need 85 chemistry overall. Uh, but, you know, thinking about it, if you have not got loyalty and whatnot and you want to just make sure you get chem, this would be the easiest way to do it. These aren't, the left wing and the right wing aren't like, super cheap players they're just literally players that i had in the positions that weren't gold they're like my cheapest version of a left winger and a right winger in the Serie A. um so that's nice and easy jumbo premium gold pack for this one now i haven't opened any packs during la liga tots because i was away uh in los angeles for ea play as you guys know now this is these are going to be my first packs it would be amazing if we could actually get a tots from those from that league and there's also two other leagues out right now as well we've got the russian league and the argentine league so any of these packs if we got a tots would be amazing like i don't think we're gonna get one but you know we can we can hope we can hope for a team of the season first pack is not successful just the one rare and it is an everton striker enna valencia definitely not something to really write home about you get steven pinar in there as well marksman oh we get Oh, I don't know. It's not nothing great. These two players aren't really worth anything. I don't think they're necessary for the SBC. Uh, I'm going to go for the Electrum Players Pack next. It's not a walkout, but can it be blue? No, it's going to be one tiny little flare, and that is going to be a Kore. He used to be a really overpowered, and actually still looks not too bad on this game, but he's not someone I'm probably going to find myself using. Uh, as for the other players, I don't know. Right back from the French, uh, from the Italian league, who is French. That's all right. I don't know. There's some players that we could definitely sell, and a Portuguese player in the dupes, which I can again sell on no problem at all. And then we just got three packs left: jumbo premium gold pack, premium gold players, and then a prime gold players. I haven't had anything in a prime gold player pack for I don't know how long. So we better get something in that today. But we'll go for the jumbo premium gold pack first. No walkout. Please be blue. No, it's going to be small flares. Left back, Marseille. It is the king of Monday mornings, Patrice Evra. If you haven't seen this guy on a Monday morning, he just puts out a video on social media. And it's like super motivating. He's super happy. He obviously absolutely loves his life. Because let's face it, he's a footballer with loads and loads of money and and I'm sure that's obviously a great feeling and stuff. But uh, yeah, it's ridiculously motivating and fun person to watch on a Monday morning on Twitter and stuff. Uh, highly recommend you do watch him if you don't already. Other players in here, nothing really to write home about there. And we get Ross McCormack as a duplicate. I'll probably sell him on for a little bit because I'm sure people are still doing the SBC for him. Um, just to get the packs and stuff. Premium gold players pack next then. No walkout again. And small flares. I don't think we're going to get a tots today, guys. <laughs> we do get Salah, though, who has just been announced to get a team of the season this time tomorrow. So uh, we're just a few hours too early to, to get his team of the season version. And people are saying that he's going to sign for Liverpool as well. Whether that happens or not, I don't know. And Donnarumma is going to be a team of the season in 24 hours as well. Uh, so they're obviously giving out loads of them right now before they're not in packs for a week and their special blue versions are. Uh, also pretty sure Donnarumma has just gone out and said that he won't be signing a contract for Milan. 
Milan, which means a lot of people are not going to like him, right? Because he'll just go on a free transfer next season or something, as opposed to letting Milan get some money for him. So, um, yeah, I don't know if that's a good move or not. You know, he's probably not going to be seen in the best light for a little while. Uh, but we'll stick him in the club and I'll sell Salah on. I'll probably keep Salah in, in my, like... In my transfer list for the week and then sell him next week when he'll be a highish price, I guess. Prime goal players pack then. Last chance for me to get a team of the season today. No walkout, but... Ah, oh, small flares again. I literally can't even remember the last time we got anything good. And we get Edin Dzeko. I'm pretty sure. Is he going to get a Tots as well? Pretty sure I saw him in the Tots drop. I'm not sure, though. I can't even remember if that... If I saw that or I'm dreaming about that. I'm not too sure. But if he did get a Tots, then yeah, he's going to be a pretty good one. Fernandinho. We get a Portuguese player as well, which is obviously good times for the marquee matchups. But I'm going to stick everything into the club for now and sell off these duplicates. So there we have it, guys. That is... Well, that's, that's how things is looking for the marquee matchups this week. Let me know if you managed to get anything. Um... Because I hope you did, because I didn't. So, you know, someone needs to get some luck between us, right? Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you could smash a like if you found it useful or if you enjoyed, that would be fantastic. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here as well. Have a good one, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.